This morning, the MSU Board of Trustees voted to amend its weapons policy. Previously, members of the public could not enter an MSU building with a gun. Starting today, you can no longer carry a concealed weapon anywhere on campus. Let's get to Priya Mann. And Priya, students played a really major role here in this change. Yeah, that's right, Karen. You know, there's four student activist groups on campus, all with a common goal of making MSU safer for both students and faculty. Well, one group in particular noticed a loophole in the language, and they've been advocating for the policy change for years. Well, now the efforts of that group, as well as so many student activists on campus, led to some real change. As an activist and as a student who was here during the shooting, it means a lot to see this loophole closed. Sailor Rinders joined Students Demand Action to help end gun violence across the country. The MSU junior praised the Board of Trustees' decision to amend its weapons ordinance on campus. Because last semester it was very traumatizing what, what our campus went through. And to see the board make a change after that is very important. I wish that more changes would have been made before to protect students, but I'm glad that at least they're being made now. MSU's ordinance forbids students and staff from having a gun on campus, but that didn't extend to the general public. On Friday, in a 5-2 to two vote, the board removed a loophole that allowed CPL holders to be on campus as long as they didn't enter a building. Between everything that's happened in the last couple of months, I think it is just one small step and it could make quite a big difference. The group, Students Against Gun Violence, first spotted the language several years ago and have been advocating for the policy change ever since. There's a lot of emotions that um, come up and even now, uh, months later, it's still uh, just as heavy. It's sad that it takes us having to speak to that for change to be made, but we're here, we're going to keep showing up until gun violence isn't as big of a problem as it is today. And a lot of students we spoke with applauded the Board of Trustees, said this is a small step in the right direction, but said that it ignores the bigger picture here. The main issue here right now is addressing mental health and getting services available to those who need it. Reporting live tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Most definitely a huge issue that does need to be addressed. All right, thank you, Priya.